appreciate first of all the fact that this is a massively hard tree it's not soft I'm going to make a knocking noise and you can hear it so it's really hard now imagine sticking your teeth into this and pulling off the wood the force involved is truly impressive now the second thing I want to tell you is that there's been an experiment going on between Mike Grover and Yuri. Yuri is the landowner. Mike is, uh, does the kind of conservation advising around here. And they put, I thought it was a very strange thing to have done. I didn't know if it would work or not. Brent Lear Smith really didn't think it was going to work. Um, I didn't either, but I, didn't, I hedged my bets. But what they did was they put little tins full of creosote on the top of these trees on quarantine clearings because they wanted to maintain the kind of parkland feel of quarantine clearings. They didn't want all the big trees pushed over by the elephants. And I, I mean, didn't really think it was going to work, but it has worked. Every single tree that they've put creosote in has been left untouched by the elephants. Not only have they not pushed them over, they haven't debarked them. So they've come and they've done something like that. This one doesn't have a tin on it. We're quite a long way from quarantine clearing. But they've done that sort of thing, obviously smelt or tasted the tannin in the creosote, and they've left it alone, which I think is quite interesting. Now, many of the debates around elephant numbers occur because of the trees that get destroyed, and we associate the word destroy with the negative, uh, not surprisingly. And so when we think of elephants pushing over trees like this, we think, well, that's a negative thing. Uh, it isn't. It's just what happens, and it happens in an area like this. But, of course, if you're a landowner in this area, you're operating a tourism business. The tourism business is the only reason that you're able to maintain an area as a conservation land. Well, if you have it, uh, a big drought and then suddenly people arrive here and it looks like it's been sort of uh, the landscape has been mangled, well, then it's just not great for tourism. So, a very nice, completely unintrusive and particularly innovative solution to maintaining the big trees with a little tin of creosote. I think that's quite remarkable.